conductors versus insulators. Conductors are materials that allow electric current to flow through them easily. Insulators are materials that do not allow electric current to flow through them easily. To find out whether a material is an electrical conductor or not, we can use a circuit tester. So this is a circuit tester. Use connecting wires to make the circuit as shown here and touch the clips to each other. If the bulb glows, your tester is ready. And then touch the key to the two clips. Does the bulb glow? If the bulb glows, it means the key is conductor. And then you can also try to connect this bandage on the circuit tester. If the bulb did not glow, it means this bandage is an insulator. Electrical conductors are usually made from metals such as iron, copper, aluminum, and silver. It is found that in general, good conductors of electricity are also good conductors of heat and materials that are insulators are made of wood plastic paper ceramic glass cloth okay and rubber we call them insulators all these are non-metals so we have example here styrofoam also is insulator paper Okay, plastic, rubber, they are all insulators, which does, do not allow electric current to flow through them easily. This is electric cable. Electric cable is made up of conductor and insulator. The wire in a cable is electrical conductor light and this is the black that cover the wire is insulator which is made up of rubber and this allow the wires to conduct electricity the covering of the wire is made of rubber and the rubber covering does not allow electric current to flow through it and hence it to protect the user from electric shock. If you open the wire, inside the wire is made up of conductor. Electricity can flow inside the wire. The outside of the wire is made up of insulator which does not allow electric current to flow. So you can hold and touch it. You are safe to touch the cable wire because it is made up of rubber, which is insulator. So this is electric plugs. Electric plugs are also made up of insulator and conductors. The black parts of electric plug are insulators, which you can touch and hold. And a metal are conductors where electricity is flowing through it. Okay, you have your uh, experiment worksheet. So you are going to complete. And for your conclusion, you are going to complete the sentence. A conductor is a material that allow electric current to flow through them easily. An insulator is a material that does not allow electric current to flow through them easily. Let's proceed to proper use of electricity. 
Electricity can be very dangerous if not used properly. A fire can break out if electrical wires or appliances become overheated. Here are some precautions that must be followed while using electricity. Number one, never use an appliance that has frayed wires. If you accidentally touch a bare part, open part, bare part, it means open part of the wire with your hand, current, current means electricity, will flow through your body. You can get an electric shock. Number two, never touch an electric appliance, plugs, or switches with wet hands. When the body is wet, it becomes a better conductor of electricity. More current will then flow through the body if there is leakage of current in the appliance. This can result in a severe shock. Water is the best conductor of electricity, so that means that electricity can flow through the water. So you get your hands burned like this. It, this might be possible if you touch any electric appliances with wet hands. Next, do not conduct any experiment with electricity supplied to our houses. Only use dry cells for experiments because the electricity that is flowing from our houses, it has very big amount of power that can cause death. We get the electricity through the power points in our houses. And we, when we use the electric plugs, we can get the electricity and use it in our appliances next do not play with electric points like push and pull push and pull do not do that you will also get electric shock and do not repair an electrical appliances yourself you can call electricians if you have problems with your appliances at home and do not overload a power point by putting in too many plugs it can cause fire due to overheating and some of your appliance might explode and started to burn make sure that you keep all your extensions or plugs because your babies do not know what are those things around your home so they can put it in their mouth and be careful with electricity with small children conserving electricity conserving electricity means saving energy the electricity which we use today is mostly made by burning coal or gas in power station. These fuels take many years to form and their supplies on Earth are limited. The burning of these fuels also causes pollution. Therefore, we have to be careful with the use of electricity so that we save fossil fuels. So how to save? Our electricity at home, number one, turn off the lights when you don't need them. Switch off electrical appliances such as lights, fans, air conditioners when not in use. Especially be careful with appliances that consume a lot of electricity. Buy energy saving light bulbs. Switch off. Don't leave the TV on standby. If you can see a light like, like this red light when the TV is off, 
it is using almost as much energy as if it is was on so make sure that you turn off the light on your television air conditioner consumes a lot of electricity so make sure you can turn it off and set it into 25 degrees celsius just to feel comfortable use fans instead of air conditioners okay let's review how to use electricity properly this picture is never what's the sentence for this picture never touch an electric appliance plugs or switches with wet hands you will get electric shock and this one do not over do not overload a power point it can cause fire due to overheating never never use an appliance that has frayed wires or open wires okay when you touch it with a bare part of the wire with your hands you can get an electric shock and this one do not repair an electrical appliances yourself you have to call an electrician to repair your broken appliances <laughs>